Hello you guys, thank you so much for watching today's video, thank you so much for even clicking on today's video. In today's video, um, I'm just going to head, I'm just going to go ahead and apologize for the lighting, um, I didn't necessarily feel like getting it all set up and everything, I hope it's not too bad. If it is, and you're a total lighting queen, go ahead, feel free to go ahead and click out of this video. Um, this is something that I have put off talking about, or just not really put off as so much as like put on the not so metaphorical uh, back burner, if you will, about talking about on my channel, and that is um, my having body dysmorphia, um, body dysmorphic disorder, um, not seeing what um, the rest of the world sees when I look in the mirror. Um, what, what body dysmorphia really means to me, and to me it, it just, it means, um, you know, I didn't, I didn't like Google, um, ahead of time, like, what the symptoms are, I just know what it is for me, and how I've dealt with it, um, since at least I was 12 or 13 years old. I have not purged in years, I'll say years, because I don't, I don't want to misspeak, I never, I never want to misspeak on my channel, that's one thing that I strive not to do. There's not going to be a bunch of petty, fancy, petty. there's not going to be a bunch, a bunch of like fancy editing and cuts and things of that nature, just because I don't think that it would, it would seem nearly as authentic and I'm trying to just let my guard down here, stumble on my words, stutter, be my mess of a self, that for some reason you guys put up with. And I, and I appreciate it more than you could ever imagine. Um, I can't help but feel somber when, when talking about this because it makes me re relive my past and some of the mistakes that I made and how reckless I really was when it came to purging, um, when it came to the starvation and being so hypercritical of every little thing. And um, I mean, I'm sure that it's, I've, I don't know if I've ever like addressed it or whatever, but it's like, I'm, I'm very small, you know, I'm, I'm very, very small, um, freakishly thin, some might even say. Um, my wrists are very, 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 very small. It's hard to even do them justice. Um, on one hand, it's like I have Marfan syndrome, um, M-A-R-F-A-N syndrome. It's an autoimmune deficiency disorder, so it's connect connective disorder, um, genetic disorder, and it affects all of your connective tissue directly. It affects your heart, your blood vessels, your eyes, things of that nature. It affects pretty much every aspect of your life. So, um, if you guys, if you guys want a little, um, tutorial on what Marfan syndrome really is, what it really means, um, do, do a little bit of research for yourself, and, um, and you can learn pretty quickly what it is, and everyone that you'll see, if you, like, look at the images on whatever, um, search algorithm you choose to use, if you even choose to do so or not, but, um, I was diagnosed at, um, 12 years old, had, um, full rod fusion, um, Harrington rod fusion surgery, double rod fusion surgery, um, a bone graft, an emergency blood transfusion, almost died from it. It was um, a nine month recovery. Uh, my mom was my support system and if it wasn't for her, I definitely would, have, would not have gotten through it. Why I felt the need to um, make the disclaimer about my having Marfan syndrome when speaking about my past with, um, I'm just gonna say it, uh, body dysmorphic disorder, anorexia and bulimia, is because um, to the outside world, it may seem that um, I do not struggle with my weight. But there, ha there are days when I, c I just convince myself, you know, con convince myself that that I'm not hungry, that um, I, that I'm editing, you know, that I've that I've that I'm booked, that I've got things to do, and it's just like there's n uh, and it's it's one of those things when like rationality doesn't necessarily come into play because as rational as as those thoughts may seem. Having body dysmorphic disorder, body dysmorphia, um, having, being anorexic, being bulimic, having these things, I know that they're they're not rational. They're not in my rational mind. It's something that is that is that is compulsive to, that is compulsive to me, and um, it's uh, you know there have there have I I choose to go um, over you know I. And I'll even convince myself, like, it's intermittent fasting, it's that whole thing. It's not, you know. I'm starving myself, I do it sometimes, um, out of choice, and it's just, um, I don't have, I don't have an explanation for it. I really don't. Um, but back to, back to what it, back to what this really means. 
um, to me, what it truly does to me is it just it, it makes me pick out, nitpick, like pick and choose every little aspect of myself that I dislike, that I that I hate, that I strongly dislike, that I want to change. I have so many surgeries picked out, um, and I and it's like I, I want to laugh because I've joked about it before, but it's true. I have I have a lot of surgeries planned um, around my 30th birthday, just because I didn't want to I didn't want to necessarily start too young, which is also something I'm sure that I'm just convincing myself of, and that's not really the case, you know. Um, I've, I'm just um, I'm hypercritical. I'm, I I just analyze overanalyze every single aspect of myself. And that and when it comes to my it's just everything about my physical appearance, um, my teeth, my facial hair pattern my ears being too small and too pointy, um, my entire facial shape. It's like I've wanted an eyebrow lift since since, since I discovered what an eyebrow lift was. Um, I've, I've even convinced myself that I need these procedures, that they're not just like something that, you know, uh, somebody that has, doesn't have these issues or any sort of body image issues um, at all would need. But I've, I've convinced myself that I need them, and I'm prob I probably will get them. And they're relatively extensive, you know what I mean? It's really, really hard. And this is not a pity party, feel bad for like Stephen video, it's really not. Um, but it's really, really hard to be a YouTuber and have to edit thumbnails of yourself. And and this is going to also rub people the wrong way if they don't understand body, body image issues and depression and stuff. But getting a compliment about anything, about when it comes to makeup, when it comes to hair, when it comes to this, when it comes to that. When you absolutely hate and pick apart those things about yourself. It's so hard to to take that. I mean, it's like, yes, you know, it, it's easy to write back, thank you so much, or send a little audio or video message where you're like, thank you, that means a lot, thank you so much, you know. But I don't believe it. I don't. I don't know why. I don't know why they're taking it upon themselves to be so nice to me. But that's how I view it: is them just being nice to me for some reason. Rationally, once again, well, <laughs> my rational mind knows that's not the case. But it's when that compulsive irrational mind starts, you know, going and, um, going a mile a minute, that's whenever things just start to kind of be up in the air for me, and I just, um, I thought that it was just time, time to acknowledge these things on my channel, I've hinted here and there, but, um, I definitely don't want to, don't want to, um, dissuade anyone or make it seem that I'm blaming my Marfan Syndrome diagnosis, diagnosis, on any of this, um, because I'm not, it's just a correlation, like, I will never have, um, body image problems, weight problems, with my body type, with my genetic disorder, which is Marfan Syndrome, connective tissue disorder, autoimmune disease, um, the terminology is a little bit up in the air, and it's a toss-up, you can choose whichever suits your vernacular or your aesthetic more, or better, I don't know, um, just with all this talk of, um, of, like, all bodies are good bodies, and, um, the return of Eugenia Kuhn, um, the Amberlynn Breed saga, um, it's just, it's all, it's all really, really triggering to me, and I just know that, um, I'm in the best place that I've ever been, um, seeing as it's been years since I purged, and that was my biggest issue for a long time, for years and years and years, like, in my early, early teen years, um, because, I mean, it all started as what I thought was fun with some friends, and, we would do it together, and it was like a little joke, and, you know, like, we wanted to be, like, the hot table in school, and, and we were, and, um, was it worth it? Absolutely not. Um, uh, I'm not going to throw anybody under the bus. I, I'm sure that everyone else is doing well, you know, that was involved in this in, in my early teen years. I just, um, I, I, I sincerely hope that they are. I just know that my body dysmorphic disorder hasn't gone anywhere. It's always right here, you know, it's always in back there somewhere, it's always just creeping its way out, and I just felt like I was doing you guys a huge disservice, and being super inauthentic by not telling this story, so that's my story, um, I have body dysmorphia, body dysmorphia, body dysmorphic disorder, um, I know that that is sort of like, um, a term that not people, not many people use anymore, but, um, I've never really publicly talked about it, I don't, like I said, I didn't do research beforehand, I don't know the politically correct or PC term, terminology to use, you guys can absolutely, um, give me, like, um, a little history lesson, whatever you want to call it, in the comments down below, <clears throat> um, I just didn't think that it was appropriate or okay for 
me to just come on camera and not talk about the fact that I'm not okay with what I see. I'm not okay with having to choose a thumbnail, which is going to be something basic that I just snapped before this. Um, I'm not going to do any editing, like I said, no cuts. I just wanted you guys to see me in a somewhat manic, manic -y, manic state, because that's what I'm in. And I want you guys to know that um, nothing that I've been doing on camera whenever I'm being positive is fake or phony. It's truly not. But there's always something in the back of my mind that's like, I need to let them know. I need to let people know. And I'm not saying like I'm somebody or anything like that. I'm not. It's just I have um, regulars that um, frequent my channel, and I'm so grateful for you guys. I just want everyone to know that views this, that I'm sorry I haven't said this um, sooner. I should have. In retrospect, I absolutely should have. But it was a huge disservice to you guys. Um, but I'm not perfect. I'm growing, and um, I'm I'm working on seeking help. And the starvation thing is, is something that is a daily struggle, and I'm working on it. But I, I truly believe, as much as this may seem like a cliche, that together anything is possible. I love you guys so much, and until next time, mwah.